voices. Yeah. You're getting your voices. I, I, I don't even want to, I'm going to knock on, I'm not superstitious, but like, I'm, we're going to do 14 shows in a row the way I sing. In the middle of the tour. Wow. So in the middle the beginning of, of the tour. tour. Well, we're catching you before you... Uh, so I'm going to replace coffee with, uh, you know, herbal tea. Yeah. And and honey. Lemon. That, that means I literally don't have any. <laughs> you are... You're obviously still living a, a solid life of sobriety. And yeah. Everything's years, cool. Wow. Years, wow. There's, some, there's some junk food. There's, yeah. some, there's some double stuffed Oreo cookies. <laughs> yeah. Are you uh, a little high on the chocolate? I don't. No? I mean, after... After bludgeoning your nose, I gotta tell you about the hard rock, man. I, saw, I came there for three days. I was awake the entire time. So, I'm not gonna say it, but what keeps you awake we, the we, entire we, time? We, we, we gotcha. And I would, I, and this is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit to this, because I, I'm not like this anymore, but I, I actually would go to the clubhouse, which was the which was the place that, which was the really, I would walk, because mm -hmm. I'd go clubhouse, and I'd walk, and there were dancers dancing to take a picture, and they would look down and see me, and I'd be like, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most, because I, I was always kind of influenced by, by bands like U2, and, and they have a certain, yeah. you know, kind of like, you know, yeah. well, they 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 have a certain decorum, or they they're not. And that was the one time in my life where I was like, "I'm pimp daddy, come on back, <laughs> come on back to the hard rock with me." And uh, you know, yeah, yeah it's good times it over the hard too. rock. What you made that happen? I I that's bad person. You were like, "Damn, I wish I would have made that song like eight nine minutes." <laughs> He's what? staring at me. What? <laughs> well, Lynn, taking pictures, what, Lynn, five and a half? Lynn will call me two pumps. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask you. Oh, though, man. With the short attention spans of, of the day. Squirrel! Do you, <laughs> do you find that you put that into songwriting, you know? Like, we gotta make these songs so tight in three minutes and radio friendly and all that? No. You, no? Uh, uh, Bob Marlette did. Okay. And he's like, he's like, God, some of your songs are just too long. And I'm like, what? I'm giving them more music for their money. And he's like, no, dude. You, you, you got to keep them wanting more. And you want to make it so that, I, I, you know, it's like it's like Vaseline by STP. Right. Mm -hmm. You know who showed me that is Bobby D and, uh, and, and Dean, Dean DeLeo. Mm -hmm. Um... You know, they were like, "Hey, if you can't, if you can't make some, if you can't make it happen in three minutes, then like, if you can't blow someone's mind in three and a half minutes or three minutes, then what's your what's your problem? How long? Why do you have to have the? But they weren't criticizing my band, but they just hated that era where it was like exploratory jam sessions. Oh, they, right. yeah. But they they started to enjoy that more on the Army of Anyone record, which, by the way, is a band that we have with the DeLeo brothers. Yeah, I was about I'm to ask, singer. what's going on? You going to bring them back? What's going on? Or are they... they are loving the, the STP, and Scott's, you know, he's pulling, he's constantly, you know, trying to make it right and, and doing good, and he's, 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 he's constantly working hard with them, and, you know, they, they've, you know, they had 11 top, right. top number one hits, you know, and, and, you know, there's a magic there, and, and I'm not saying that there's not a magic with Army of Anyone, but, I respect that. I have filter. Right. Filter's my sure. Um, filter's my baby, and and I have so much fun with it, and I'm constantly, you know, enjoying it and playing concerts and stuff. So, if there's a chance when Bobby D does have a uh, a, a studio mm -hmm. in his basement, and um, it's like a real legitimate studio, and he um, records stuff all the time down there, and uh, when he's not hanging out with his kids. And so I imagine once he gets enough songs written, it would be very plausible for me to go and just take two or three weeks and sing vocals, you know, right over the top of it, and um, see what comes and, and see what happens. See and, what happens. And, you know, and I've learned so much as a singer just from Bob Marlette. He's helped me to really focus on writing uh, 
just faster. So he's um, been quite the gift for you professionally. He has. I actually, you know, for people who haven't heard our record, the trouble with angels um, is absolutely one of our finest pieces of work, and and I'm and I'm I'm very respectful of that record. I've had I've had some records where I've kind of winced when I when I've right. heard them, you know, in the past. And this this record is something that I. I think we all stand behind. I mean, you know, Johnny Raddick is a guitar player. Brad He's a quiet Brad guitar Key. player, too. I said Radke. <laughs> oh, we can play it back. We can play the tape back. Johnny Radke is from Ashes Divide, and I hold anything that Billy Howardale and the people that yeah. he associates with in a very high regard. And to have Johnny come in and be a fan and be like, yeah, this is going to be great, is, it, it, it shows a lot. And I think that when Bush and when Chevelle, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of honor on this tour. There's a lot of respect, and like we're being honorable to each mm -hmm. other. There's, there's, there's an ethic that we've all grown into. We're a bunch of grown-ups, really. Yeah. I mean, it's not a bunch of kids out there. It's grown You can men, still, you can, you can be 60 years old and be a, and be a jerk. Right. And and so I mean. There's there's a lot of respect for each other and and you know and Chevelle and I you know and Bush and Gavin's amazing and right. we're friends and we've known I've thing. known those guys for you know for 15 years uh, the Chevelle guys for like 10, 12, and um, you know it's solid people and it's nice yeah. to see everybody doing really well and the shows are awesome. That's so. awesome. You know uh, Gavin's always been really cool and quite frankly I got to be honest with you he's a nice ass. I've rubbed it a couple times and. Yeah. He's, that's, he's, that's a good, yeah, he's he a good dude. He's physically fit. He's physically fit. <laughs> yes, he is. Physically fit. Physically Filter fit. Filter tonight physically out fit. at the joint. Uh, Johnny. Well, that's Madagascar. Thank you for coming in. And, physically and, fit. Physically and being fit. your, <laughs> being your uh, cute self over here to my left. Phil, thank you so much, thank you very much. for coming in. And Richard, obviously, always thank you for coming oh, thanks in. thanks for having me. And Everything you do is... You guys have been so supportive of, of us, and, and I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys... Vegas, you should be very, very proud of your radio station oh, here. Thank you. And, and listen and keep on listening to The Rock for sure. Congratulations. You're doing well as a father? I yes. am. I had yes. uh, my daughter came running out on stage last night and I sang sweet. Take a Picture to her. Oh, sweet. She's she's three and a half. And, it, you know, I, I'm that's my first kid. So I was like, you know, I was like, for all you young punks out there who don't have kids, you know, turn to the people left of, uh, left or right of you who do, and look at their eyes. And it was, you know, there was a lot of crying. There was a lot oh, that's of cool. there was a lot of it's a warm moment. You know, anybody that I don't know. I mean, you know, she's gonna always remember that that moment yeah. that she was on stage with her dad. And I hope there's more coming in. There the should future. be. I think you there know. will be. That's awesome. Thank you for coming by.